Not much in the way of hands around here. Might see a blind-on-blind -blind battle, though. We do have the aces there. It wouldn't shock me at all if we saw a push and a call. HC Grinder's going to raise on the button. Obviously not playing his cards, but instead playing the button. Kaiser's going to call. And I actually thought Kaiser might shove there. But instead, he decides to smooth call. That's going to bring pink outs in as well. Pot almost 4 million. 10, 8, 4. A couple of diamonds. Kaiser has hit a pair of fours and is a favorite to win the hand if it goes to showdown. But a lot of things can happen right now. HC Grinder with the gut shot. There's the bet from Kaiser. I thought pink outs might float, but the problem, of course, of floating in a spot like this is you've got a player yet to act behind you who's already raised. So pink outs gets out of the way. Now HC Grinder on the button. He's got a gut shot. If he knew his opponent had, he might actually raise here. Kaiser has not pot committed himself with that bet. Yeah, and HC Grinder's going to push, and he's actually not in bad shape at all. Any nine, any jack, any seven. Looks like a move. But in a strange way, it's just an elaborate semi-bluff. And it's going to work. Kaiser gives it up. And that small bet by Kaiser on the flop, 1.2 million, indicative of either one of two things, either enormous strength because you want to bring your opponent in and induce that bluff, or of weakness so you can get away from the hand, and that's exactly what it was. Now, Kaiser inches back up to over 7 million chips. Still has a lot of work to do as the blinds have jumped up to 400,000, 800,000. Richie Bro on the button with the suited queen. No, not going to play that one. I thought he would. Guarantee you, Bubby, he's going to play this one. And he's going to shove. And HC Grinder is going to call. I think it's pretty standard for both players. King 9. Not a big fan of calling off my chips, but when the small blind shoves for less than four big blinds, you have to call with King 9. And how about flopping trip kings? Bubba He in really bad shape. Well, he's got a little more life now. Needs a club or a nine. And that is a three of diamonds. Unfortunately for Bubba He, he is Bubba out. From Kitchener, Ontario, Canada, earns himself $52,170. Now, if you want to play in this tournament, you can. Normally, it costs $215 to get in. No, no, forget that. You can get in for free. That's right, for free. Play the online poker show free roll. We'll reveal the password later. Five of the last seven WSOP Main Event Champions are PokerStars players. You do the math. PokerStars.com, the world's largest poker site. Okay, if you're wondering who's next, I'm pretty sure it's me. If it's not me, maybe it's you, but who knows. Anyway, hand 47, this is what it looked like. Five players remain. HC Grinder is our chip leader from Finland with 28 million chips. G-Town Eagles, he's our short stack. Let's pick up the action at hand 49. A couple of short stacks here. G-Town Eagles in the big blind. Has less than five big blinds. Richie Bro, one of our bigger stacks, raises the two million. Kaiser, also a short stack, calls. That's a shocker of a play. I wouldn't be surprised if he pushed. But calling is, uh, well, a bit odd. Generally, I'm not going to call off 33% of my stack and then fold. So you imagine he's in there. G-Town Eagles does shove with the King-10. You can't blame him. Richie Bro going to call. And you imagine that will obviously bring in Kaiser. Kaiser can re-raise all in. Doesn't really make a difference. He's going to call. He only has 1.5 million behind. Can't imagine he folding anything. Queen, Jack, 7. And Kaiser has hit a pair of Jacks. Well, now he's definitely not going to fold. G-Town Eagles, by the way, open-ended. And if you're Richie, bro, well, you don't like it. 
He's going to put out 1.6 million. Kaiser, obviously not going anywhere. Main pot, 14.5 million. Side pot, 3.1 million. Seven of clubs on the turn. G-Town needs an ace or a nine. That is not an ace or a nine. King of diamonds and Kaiser with kings and jacks wins a monstrous pot, 17.7 million. Played the hand very strangely, a little bit unorthodox, but it worked out for him. I don't think it would have changed anything had he pushed, um, but you never know. And this is interesting because we've gotten rid of one of our short stacks, and the other short stack effectively tripled up. So we don't really have any real, real short stacks. Raising the button from pink outs. He's second in chips. And our big blind player, HC Grinder from Finland. He's our deep stack with 27.4 million. Now we saw him three bet earlier with King Queen. And he, this, he's going to three bet again. Once again, this is the kind of hand where a lot of players will just smooth call with because if they get four bet, they don't want to be forced to fold it. But then again, we are four handed. Obviously, pocket fives goes way up in value. We're not seven or eight handed as we were earlier. So is that fine line? What hand do you want to three bet with? Because I hate three betting with a hand where now I'm forced to, I'm forced to fold to a four bet. I've effectively turned my pocket fives into a bluff, and that's the problem with that play. You three bet with a hand like fives, you get four bet, and now you've turned your fives into a bluff. You could have three bet with seven deuce. It makes no difference. A lot of the top pros like the three bet with hands where they know exactly what they're going to do if they get four bet. It's either an easy fold or an easy push call, depending on how you want to play it. Kaiser in the lead right now with the ace 10 and still in the lead. He has position as well. HC Grinder with the C bet, 2.4 million. Kaiser going to take one off. He's got the ace of spades. Maybe he can represent. Jack of hearts on the turn. Kaiser's picked up a gut shot. Still has the best hand with ace-10, though. Hard for him to know that, though. And HC Grinder's going to give this one up. He checks. Kaiser's going to put out 4.8 million. Back over to HC Grinder. And you imagine this hand will be over. And it is over. HC Grinder now slips into third place. Pink outs our chip leader. Kaiser, who was all in just a few hands ago, is now second in chips with 23 million. Blinds have jumped up to 500,000, 1 million. Pink outs on the button with ace eight. Almost definitely going to raise this. And the interesting thing is, and kind of the theme of this highlight show has been HC Grinder. And when he, when he does or when he does not decide to three bet. And he's got an interesting decision when it gets around to him. There's the raise from pink outs. We knew that was going to come. Richie Bro will probably get out of the way. And HC Grinder, do you three bet here or do you just call? And obviously the decision is if you three bet with a hand like ace 10 and your opponent four bets you, what are you going to do? He's just going to call this time. And he's hit a pair of tens. There is a queen out there, but four-handed. You've got second pair top kicker. You probably like your hand. I don't think you're going anywhere. Pot is 5.3 million. You imagine a C bet would come from pink outs. Of course, when I say C bet, I mean continuation bet. Now Pink Outs is going to take the card. King of Spades. And if you're HC Grinder, you probably don't like that. Has picked up a gut shot straight draw. HC Grinder going to bet 2 million. Less than half the pot. 